Good morning, brothers and sisters. Good morning. As God will have it, we have made it to the end of the month. Today is October the 30th. Actually, no, it's one more day. Today is October the 30th of 2021. We are happy to have you guys. Uh, we do want to thank every one of you all that show up every morning to send this good news to our people, to come up even when it's not convenient to pay for data. We know that our brothers and sisters back home, uh, uh, it's not always easy to get hold of data, but you do what you can to join your sisters every morning. We appreciate you. We appreciate all those sharing this good news every day, trying to send it out for our people to see, even when we know that the platform that we are using is doing all they can to block us. People are getting the news. Our sisters definitely are getting the news. We do want to thank Omwade Zoko that is all over our land that are rising up to take over and make sure that their children at least live to see a good future. So we thank our sisters, our mothers, our daughters, everyone doing the needful to ensure that we get where we are going. Since they we fell out, it must be internet issue. She should be coming up shortly. Anyway, my name is Mona Chinsa again. I'm here. She is back. And I'm here in Houston, Texas. Hopefully, we don't continue to <laughs> have this issue. So help us to share, share, share. You can see they are, again, blocking. Uh, between my four kids and my husband watching, that's five people plus me. That's six. There's no way eight people are watching. Sister Augusta has four children plus her husband. I promise you, this is a gameplay. But it's okay. We are used to it. You know, there's no, they will never deter us from doing what we need to do. So don't be discouraged. Don't worry about those that are coming up and saying, oh, one person is watching you. A lot of our people are getting the messages and we have the evidence. That's what that counts. So let me allow my sisters to introduce themselves. Sisters, please go ahead. Yeah, good morning, everybody. We thank you all for being here. Um, as uh, Sister Muna rightly said, it's all about the message. So. If it is just one person that is watching, remember we get calls after the show. We get we get a lot of calls. People want to, you know, they would want us to explain further what was said during the show. So it's not about, you know, Facebook trying to be smart. It's about the messages out there. And the messages are so important because uh, we have gotten to a stage where everybody has to participate. And when I say everybody, everybody, if you want freedom, you have to participate. If you want to live a life that you are, God has actually destined you to live, you have to be part of this. If you want things to work smoothly, that there, there was a, a picture I saw. Kids, probably, uh, probably their kindergarten or so, standing inside muddy waters and singing the national anthem. I'm like, who does that? Who does that in this new age? Kids are still standing in muddy waters and singing to a country that does not give a damn about them. So, you know, that's what we're saying. So everybody has to be part of this. You have to start doing your own work, the work that is meant for all of us. So once again, I welcome you all for this show is packed, heavily packed. And, uh, you know, we are hoping that you all listen, you enjoy and also ask questions. It's time for you all to start asking the pertinent question. Thank you all for joining. My name is Dr. Augusta Nasike, and I am happy to be here with you all. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for that. Uh-oh, Sister Epi, are you there? All right, so while we wait for Sister Epi, this is a good time to remind our viewers to help us to share. Like I said, don't be discouraged. Um, this is intentional on their part and we recognize that. So help us to share this information. Um, if 10 of us or three of us watching can share, then it will, um, hello? You're in already. Yeah. So that's the thing we can see. Uh oh, now she's out. <laughs> yeah, I <guess> Technology. <laughs> Having some uh, connectivity issues, so we'll just yeah. wait a few more minutes to come. Uh, like I said, this is a good time to share and share and share and share this information. Um, okay, all right, so wow, 
we have a good topic today. As usual, we have already sent out our promo. It's out there in the open. We know that for the first time in our lifetime, we are doing something to um, help us uh, get gain our freedom. You know, our topic today is Nigeria, the British offshore business enterprise, and we all know that. And we have some uh, videos to back up what we are talking about tonight, today, what they are. Uh, hello? Uh-oh. Are you kidding me? I don't see you. What do you mean? Are we even still on? Since August, are we still on? Where's my screen? Yes, I think so. Let me let me check once again. Yeah, we're all on Facebook. Okay. Stupid thing is doing magic. Okay, here we are. What's up? What's that making noise? Um. Okay, now nice. it's if he's here twice. <laughs> Are you okay. in? I think so. Can you hear me? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah, something is definitely going on. Something is blocking something for sure. Uh, you know, this week Facebook announced that they changed their name to Meta. So this one is uh, Mecca, and Mecca she and Mecca she for sure. Who knows what they are doing? Okay. Okay. Thank All you. right. Go thank ahead. You. We're waiting for you. <laughs> thank you, sisters. Thank you, viewers. We appreciate you. No matter what they do, we're here. We know what the assignment is, and we're here to do it, and we'll continue to do it until we get what we want. Um, thank you for sharing. Thank you for being patient with us and the technology. Am I coming out? Yes. Okay, my name is Dr. Equi Simon Okube. I live in Lexington, Kentucky. Um, life is like a race. For some, it's a sprint. For others, it might be marathon or endurance race. Whatever yours is, a little kindness from others will help. No matter how difficult a problem or a challenge is, a culture of being kind to one another, we make it easier. Please, as we journey through this difficult and dangerous path, find time to care for one another. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yep, because we are all in this mess together, right? So the earlier yes. we recognize that we have to solve this problem, that we are the stakeholders, and that's one of the things that we have uh, made it clear on this show that you know you should not allow someone else to do it for you because afterwards they will enslave you. You will have to owe them for the rest of your life. So this is a good time for you to do what you can as a shareholder and make this process work. So as our topic said, Nigeria, the British offshore business enterprise. We all saw the warship training the Nigerian Navy. Do we even know Nigeria has a Navy? I mean, I'm confused. Which Navy did they have? Is it the one in the dry land or the one in the house? No, the one they were trying to build somewhere in Kaduna. Kaduna that doesn't have any, uh, maybe Kaduna or Kaduna, one of those key states that yeah. doesn't have any water, waterway, that doesn't have any water to birth the, the sheep. I mean, that's what we, that's, how come they didn't go over there, the dry ship, the dry land, or the dry <laughs> offshore? How come, how come they didn't land there? I mean, they're business partners. Hey, you know, you know they'll be sucking our oil. Who knows this time around, they'll start sucking our water. Maybe they're planning to have a, a big fight. <laughs> Be, be I, I've never seen, you know, your business partner opened a, a dry land a wharf in their mm. land. Hmm. And then when you brought your she, you came to us late. That was like Lagos, yeah, so why did you come through through hmm. Kano or Kaduna? Yeah. They're deceiving themselves. Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh Lord, have mercy. Wow. We have come. We are we are with them. As they, you know, when they enter home, we enter with them. When they come on top of the tree, we are we climb with them. Any style they want, we are here. <laughs> you can say that again, my sister. So, like our topic said, Nigerian. Nigeria, the British offshore business enterprise. We've all heard about Daphne Park, 
uh, in, 19, in 1992 mentioned that when you set people discreetly against each other, they will destroy themselves without you doing anything. Actually, I posted a long um, article about this on our Facebook page. If you want to go look it up, it's there for you. So it has been an open secret that the wealth of the indigenous peoples of Africa build the civilization of the Western world. And currently, they are still building the civilization of Western world. Apart from all the stolen properties that they took from us, resources, the human capital that left Africa over 400 years ago which is nothing compared to the number of Africans and African children lost to gruesome war stage managed from foreign lands. Like we said, we have videos to show one of this. Our sister, uh, Dr. Arikana, she, she was one of them at some point, and she was the one that came out. Like uh, sister, uh, um, our sis, other sister that the husband just recently died, Akunye, right? The same way she came out screaming when she saw something wrong. And before we know it, but people that didn't suffer from breast cancer, she died. So at least uh, Dr. Ricana, they didn't take her out. They just removed her from the position. But thank God she was out there speaking. So the question is, how long more are we willing to allow this madness? How long more are we going to watch the people that don't care about us? Instead of bringing food, they are bringing worship. People are dying of hunger from COVID. Our youngsters don't have any job. Nothing is working in Nigeria. Instead of you guys to bring economic package, they're bringing us worship. To teach us to go to war with who again when we have not eaten? Which war are you preparing for? So is it fair that we are dying every day because some criminals want to steal our resources for their people? We know what they've been doing. They will eat until they weigh 700 pounds. One person weighs 700 pounds. When our own little ones, from the pictures and videos that we show today, you will see children, they have not eaten that. You can even see the mal malnourishment on their head. Hmm. Even if we cannot be caught loose on the ground of, let's say, economic help, what about humanitarian grounds? When will all the lies and the negative manipulations of the political atmosphere of Nigeria and other African nations end? Have we not died enough? Have we not suffered enough? So we don't deserve a place that we can call home? They have done all manner of sort, imposed one Nigeria on us. They imposed their master slave constitution worse than anything that anybody have ever, they even recognize that it's a pressure cooker for injustice. Lied against us saying that we swore to live together in a union of debt and backwardness. Yet we are flying all over the world trying to live the same Nigeria that they claiming is the most populous country in the world. They will impose the worst leaders. If they find anyone that is trying to do well, mm, you're out. You have to work with them. They will impose greedy political class to enslave us and subjugate us. They will allow them to bring our resources to their land and buy homes and buy properties and buy whatever and pack some in their bank somewhere they don't even use it. As if that's not enough. They imported and imposed terrorists and bandits or not, creating a monkey the walk and babu the chop. Slow dead kind of situation for us and our children and make fun of us. You know, we are shithole, we are hungry people, we are 419ers, we are criminals, we are everything. When they are stealing billions, our brother will do a little bit of Yahoo Yahoo for $1,000. Ah, it will be on all their evening news. But they will show you the plane that is flying from Poto Poto to carry all the resources. Only the living is afraid of worship, guys. Dead people do not fear any worship, call it British worship or whatever you want to call it. And in case they miss the names like Ekumeku and Aro, Aro warriors in their history book, hmm, they may go back and update on that information. Those who perpetrated evil against others may sink with the victims, victims of their evilness. My people, we need to wake up. 
the more we look, the less we see. We know what these people are all about. I could remember when people are so into wanting to go to London and America, and even they even went to Russia. I met so many of our people back then, they were going to Russia to go and learn Russia then before they can go to school. When we have the resources to speak our language and be in our own land, all strategic, intentional, planted, displaced us everywhere. That even some of us, when we have worked for years and come back, we are still fighting for them. If you mention Britain, they will say, ah, shut up. You don't know if they are Igbo now or British or if they are Yoruba or British. They will even fight you for Britain. The British person will allow you to verbalize your feelings. But the enslaved ones will fight you if you mention the name. That's how bad it is, my people. But we, the daughters of the land, are saying no more. We are saying no more. Enough. This is not favorable for our children. This is not sustainable for our children. We cannot watch this fakeness anymore. Hmm? We, are, we are okay with who we are. We want to be able to live in our ancestral homes and take care of our children and do what other people are doing. And we are capable of doing such. It's about time we take our future back into our hands. It's about time we rise up and do the right thing. It's about time that we follow the due process to get us where we are going so that we are not being distracted. You know, all we are doing is consuming what China is manufacturing. We can't boast of anything. What we are boasting is I'm the first one that brought the American car into the village. Well, you cannot produce common engine oil to go into the car. Pathetic. So I'm going to play the video of the day. Sisters, if you want to add while I bring up the video. Yes, I mean, it is it is really pathetic that at this juncture, we are still clamoring for um, Imakwandaibu status. You know, it, it is really, really pathetic. And as you rightly said, you know, the first guy to bring uh, an American car into the country will want to boast about it. But the truth is that way back as that, um, I think it was during Abacha's time. One of these populous, popular uh, engineer from the Igbo origin tried to build a car. He built the first car here in Nigeria. Every, the, all the raw materials were sought in Nigeria. But at the end of the day, because of this caliphate, when we talk about caliphate, it, it, we said that they have been working towards this thing for a very long time. They have been working towards this as long as they had their um, Osman Danfodio, they have been working towards it. They never allowed it to see the light of the day. You can imagine if he had built that car then, probably we would not be importing all these their used cars hmm. over, over to the nation. But they never allowed it. They, never, they, they not only seized the technology that the guy had then, they actually, I, I can't remember if he was even imprisoned for trying to make life free and easier for our people. So this has been ongoing. It has been ongoing. The British trying to bring a ship down to Lagos. They know what they are doing because they are afraid that they are, they are, they are like, their source of livelihood, which is African nations, their source of livelihood is about to be you know, truncated. So they're not here to promote or protect the people. The people that have been killed, we've been shouting that our people have been killed. We've been shouting that the, the bandits are killing our people, that the presidency has a hand in it. They are not talking about that. They want to protect their own system. Is it ready? No, my dear. Okay. So they are here to protect their own interest, which is the resources. Because without that resources, the Queen of England will not be able to wear that diamond. You see all the tiara that he has on his head. Edo Funkuru tiara, it will sustain an African country. Trust me. If they sell one of these tiaras, it will sustain an African nation. But they will not allow it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, hold on. Before, someone, before you go, so now, uh, we'll explain our people the video that is about to come. This is... Uh, uh, our um jingle, jingle. are they hungry what happened what's funny <laughs> no because i can 
can I can actually sing along because okay, okay. <laughs> it's, it's the hallelujah, hallelujah. What is the, um yeah, so we want that? our people to have this. This is our new anthem. <laughs> this is our new hallelujah song. Because we can't be dying, our people are dying, our children are hungry, and you're singing hallelujah. Hallelujah mm -hmm. to what effect? So what effect? You see, some of the pictures in this jingle, it's the 200 million, the 2 million Biafrans that were starved to death. Uh -huh. This video, these pictures are very, like, they touch our heart. Because each time we see them, they remind us of what happened. Some people are still alive today. The word for shioka started with us. Mm -hmm. Some people, when you mention Biafra, they go into panic attack. The people that went through it. It happened to me. I had a, the time I was still in IPOB, I had a profile. IPOB with Biafra flag. Somebody, an elderly man saw it. He went into panic attack. He was like, pull down that thing, pull down that thing. I'm like, it's on my profile, not on yours. He's like, okay, I can't call you anymore because I can't see this. Because he remembered when the gun was placed on his head as a teenager. The only thing that saved him was like, he's a, a little kind, like a, a handsome guy. So then he looked a little like a woman. Somehow they got confused and said, oh, the other person said, he's a woman. Levi is a girl. And he was a boy. And that was how he was. So each time he sees that flag, it comes back. That post-traumatic stress disorder will come back to him. That was never addressed. That was never addressed. Because when you finish a war, people are supposed to go through therapy. Exactly. Our people did not go through therapy. Nothing was done for our people. Even to mention the word mm -hmm. Biafra, they will take you out. Mm -hmm. We've gone through this for 50 years, going through cold talking, trying to Manage. do this therapy for us by ourselves no. and the more we try to come out the more they push us down the more we try to come out the more they try to push us they push us down in that war we lost over 3.5 million, million people massacred and killed now they are killing everywhere in nigeria but we are the ones that we are killed as a sample what do you do to a people that say no we want to be free they killed us now the genocide is now going on. In not in Middle Belt, we have 400,000 killed. I didn't say 400 people. I said 400,000 killed. 350,000 refugees. Hmm. Hmm. 4 million displaced from their homes and communities. The secret is anytime they find anything in your land, be it gold, be it zinc, yeah. be it robot, anything they need. Any so we get another tribe to begin to fight you yeah. and kill you off. That's what you see, Sister Mona read at the introduction. Anytime you see a black group killing another black group, look behind. There's a white hand on it. Yep. Yep. Go and do your investigation properly. Yep. Be it yep. in Southern Sudan. Be it in, 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 in uh, 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 South yep. Africa, anywhere, their finger is under. So right now, as we speak, 4 million have been displaced from their homes and their communities. We have 2 million IDP camps, internally displaced camps. Ridiculous. Camps. Camps, so. Camps. 2 million camps. 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 That, that means that at least on the average, they would have at least 100,000 per camp. Of course, because we have 4 million displaced. Mm -hmm. Hey! We're not talking of people that have been displaced to Benoit. Yoruba people that have been displaced. And somebody thinks we can keep quiet, we should keep quiet and continue life. Hey, yeah. And this is what we're telling Debo. The main trouble has not even reached Debo land. Mm-hmm. It has the people not. that are going through it now are middle belt. Mm -hmm. It's when they finish with those ones, they will come to us. That's still preparing for us. You see the worship they brought. That one is for us because they know we are in TK. They are not listening. So they are still preparing for us. And that's what we're telling you people. Please stop this running around. Follow a strategy. Understand the strategy on the table. 
so that we don't make a mistake the second time. There's no need. Uh -huh. no onion milli, onion on a million chadi abianya. If you are inside the water, there's no need to allow soap to enter your eye and you cannot wash it out. Please, Sister Mona, go ahead. this video in our facebook page if you want to hear it as we're telling you americans are worried about christmas and kind we're worried about hungry they're worried about the things that they place online if we come in front of their door before christmas when my people can't find food to eat they are hungry they're the hungry jesus everybody they did the hungry so sad so please um help us share we want this to be the new anthem and we appreciate people that sat down and put this together so beautifully done. This is a summary of all that we've been through in years, 100 years, over, counting. So please share this to them. Why we know that this will resonate with them because this is their hallelujah anthem. 
and is our own hunger <laughs> and them. So share it to them because this is what they have packaged. Send it to them. Let them hear. This is our own hallelujah anthem coming from Africa. And it's the same for everyone, all African nations. And we're saying it is no longer okay that Africa is full of resources, yet Africans are hungry. We are not taking it anymore. And we are calling all the daughters of truth, Umade Zioku, all the women that are standing for truth, please stop playing around. Get serious. If you know that you have ever got pregnant in your life and brought a child into this world and that child is an African child, you must stand up now. You must stand up now. The second video that Sister Mona will show is about how they've scattered us all over the world. Intentionally. Intentionally. Intentionally is a strategy. We told you that what is happening in Africa is multifactorial. The strategy they have is to, because they recognize that we, are, we have so much resources. So either they don't kill us, either they use war and kill us, or they will displace us intentionally from that land, forced migration. Or they will give their doctor, your doctors documents to come and practice in their country. Meanwhile, their people have not been trained. <laughs> they will give their teach, your teachers, nurses, everyone, professionals, to leave Africa and come to their land. And we are happy. Oh, I got my visa. Ooh, I'm moving They are giving testimonies. That's an inside church. Yes, my brother just got admi admitted in London. Uh, my sister is a medical doctor in Spain. Uh, my brother is a nurse in America. Uh, this uh, That's your testimony. He gave birth to seven sons. All of them are scattered all over the world. And that is your testimony. Hi. You are, you are bragging that you gave birth. Then you are populating the world. That the world is using you as incubator. Like when you go, you get pregnant, give birth to children, and populate their land. Very soon now, Canada will come. Hey, COVID is killing us. So we don't have people in our land. We need population. Come. If you're a nurse, come. If you everybody will be moving. As you're giving birth, like chicken, they're calling them to their land. What is happening to your own land? Your land that is so blessed. Your land that is so full of resources. In the area I come from, if you eat mango and drop it in front of your house, it will grow. Immediately. Immediately. And bring the fruits. You, you won't even need any fertilizer. No fertilizer. This is the Garden of Eden. It, as in, the, the real one that they talked about, not the one that... They don't feel that we don't deserve that land. I know. That's why they are forcing us out of the land. To go and serve them and be enslaved. And you say, I'm making $200 an hour. Yeah. <laughs> Can't you, you see you what I get for, You will get four degrees to be a charge nurse. Yes. <laughs> Meanwhile, they just read the secondary school. When they finish secondary school, it's, G, it's, it's the GED. Mm -hmm. they, they, they can do anything with that anything secondary with school. Anything with that degree. certificate, of course. Mm -hmm. You have to get four loans. Mm -hmm. Yes. You have to get four doctorate degrees, yet you come down and be under them. <laughs> Who did yeah. those things? Yeah. Who did all this? My people, can't you see what is going on? Please, if he's ready, listen to this young man lament. Hi. God is speaking to us. If yes. anyone is hearing our voice anyway, and these things that we're mentioning is not touching you, you need to go and check yourself. Don't be deceived by the dollars that they're making here. Don't be deceived by the pounds. We have the resources that they need. They want you out of that land by any means necessary. Necessary, of course. Any means necessary. You know, since August Muna, we're talking the other side. Okay, the other time they say, okay, it's a green card, um, what citizenship. Why did that tie it to marriage? Why did they not say it? Okay, if you go to school, then you or you do something mm -hmm. or something. <laughs> Why is it that you have to marry their daughters and start giving birth again for them? Why? Why? Why do you have to marry their men and be giving birth? Why? Why? Why is the scheme that way? What did? What did? It, what is it? And what? they freely come to the African nations without all this extra stress. No, no, no. They no stress. They don't have them. to marry an African person to get no. citizenship. No, they just walk in. They walk in they and walk out. Walk in. But you have to trek to me. Oh, genius. But you don't have to go to the desert. Why is it so? Why is it so? I was talking to some of my classmates. I said, why is it so? 
Can't you see what is going on? Why are you happy being exported? You finish medicine, they export you to another land. And why are you happy? The people that you met there, why are they there? Why did they come to Africa to treat your people? You finish medicine, they export it to another land, and they get the ones that did not even go to school, by, by to come and open hospitals in Nigeria. Exactly, because our people deserve death. Because our, our people, people deserve, deserve death. death. Yeah, people that will give you, they will give you Tylenol, and you feel that you're okay. Yes, and then the next thing they bring, uh, what's that lottery they do? Green card lottery. Everybody's mm -hmm. winning lottery. Hey, I got lottery. I got visa lottery. Hey, I'm going to America now. My whole family, we are packing. You, you come here. Your mother that is 18 years that you know our people hate cold. You will put your mother here and make her citizen, citizen and your father. Your father and your mother that are here. That they are home that they built with sweat. Hey! Arrow, 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 arrow. Too much arrow. Who did us this? Who did us this? Can't we see what is going on? And then when you want to be free, you're working on your freedom. They will bring people to plant in the midst of you. Causing confusion between all of you. You'll be blaming one another. It's your fault. It's your fault. Why are you not checking that person that is ahead of that your struggle? Have you considered that maybe he was bought to come and cause trouble and distract you? No, you are worshipping. Your own is to worship. Mm -hmm. They will worship visa. Why can't they you worship think? everything? Anything that is anything will be worshipped. When we come here to point out the truth for you, you start attacking us. Why are you attacking us? Are we reminding you of things that you ought to know? Are you running away from your own shadow? Your own responsibilities? Are you running away from your responsibilities? Why not calm down and listen for once? Sit down and think so that you can understand what you're saying. Go ahead, Sister Mona, please. Ha, talk, Rela. Hmm? That boy, I know they hear what. Your mother will knock you for a head until you do the right thing. The right thing must be done. Now, what are your final thoughts? You have studied the experiences Africans are having in this country, particularly. Close us up for now. Um, personally, I want to speak to our politicians and I call them sellouts, you know, because they are not looking at uh, the interest, the needs, the vulnerability that constrain people to migrate. Because to the Gambia or to Senegal, to African political leaders, it is convenient. Even if we die in the streets, mm -hmm. even if we die in the sea, as much as we can send remittances, it is convenient for them that we, the youth, who are potential revolutionaries, leave the country and let them to dictate. So I am telling Africans who are there that I am guilty for being here. If you come here, you are running from your work. You are running from changing Africa. And the generations that will become failures as well, we I contributed to it, and you are also contributed to it. You could contribute into it. So if I am speaking, and if you can hear me today, I am saying I should get back, and then we should work on what is happening because the future is in Africa. But the real question is: Is the future in Africa for Africans? Are we talking about Chinese colonialists, or we are talking about multinationals who have stole us the traditional livelihoods that, in fact, we hate ourselves? Hmm. Africa is still a colonial economy. It depends on what people are running from. We cannot talk about a solution without talking about the causes of the problems. Right. It should right. be false that we will talk about, okay, people will stay there. But we all live in one sister system, capitalism, that creates illusions in everyone. I want to live in a house. It doesn't matter whether I live in the village or not. Well, who am I not to hope that I, I need the best for myself? We are slaved everywhere. We are discriminated. We are stigmatized. And I am not saying this is particularly Italy, but what, what are the other European countries who are helping Italy with the load of the migration since 2015? Why is Africa enslaved? Hmm. We are poor. We will never be poor. The future is still there. The question is, who is this future for? Is it for Africans when we all run from the, from, from the, from the things that we should try to make up there? Oh, heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. You can see the passion in his voice. You can see the pain. The pain in his voice. You can see, you can you can see the fact that you know he kept saying the future is the future for the, the future that is in Africa. Is it for Africans? That was what he said. The future that we're talking about in Africa, is it for Africans? Now we are talking about Nigeria. That Nigeria has degenerated. It has it has, you know, dived, snow dived into a pothole that 
we cannot even come out of. And they are watching. They are seeing it. They know it. They know all this. But what are they going to do about it? Are they thinking about the lives that would be, that would be, that, that, that would, the people that would die? Is that what they're thinking about? Or they're thinking about the resources that they tend to get if these people are exterminated? So that is what the guy was trying to say. The future in Africa, is it meant for Africans? He's in Italy. God knows what he's doing in that cold region. God knows what he's doing there. While the probably is from Gambia, from his accent, you could tell the part of Africa he's from. While the resources that is sustaining Italy is probably from his village, from his backyard. <laughs> of course. The resources that is sustaining Britain is from my backyard. It's from my backyard. But guess what? I can have access to that resources. Mm -mm. It has been made so. I can't even take what belongs to me. Because Queen Elizabeth will not even allow that happen. <laughs> Meanwhile, when I will come to London, I have to come as a maid. I have to come as a nursing aide. I have to co come and start cleaning their bathrooms. Well, even, when you start, even when you finish and take loans to go to their so-called school, you carry all those loans, you know, enormous loan that American will go to school for two years. They will give him directorship. They will make you go and get four doctorate degrees with all the loans. With all the and loans. All in your head. Your name. And then when you start the job, they won't even pay you what they're supposed to pay you. The person with a lower degree will be making more than you. And you will be making, making payments towards those loans that you collected with your low pay. We have to get not just the, no 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 we are not you are not making payment towards the loans you are making payment towards the interest of the loan oh yes yes I think that because the loan I could have better you have not started paying the loan all in, you are still paying the interest that is attached to the loan who huh? ah Chineke I don't know and you know we we we've always had we've always had you know each time we try to blame our African men that why are you not standing up and we're like. All of them should stand up. The problem they've had, the African men that are the supposed leaders, the problem they've had all along is that they are not standing up at the same time. If you stand up at the same time, you'll see that the table will shake. They're not standing up at the same which, time. Which is, which is Augusta, why we're talking about alliance. Like exactly. Alliance. Yes. Stop alliance. standing up individually. Individually. Like they, they will pick you up. up. When you start out as one, they will pick you up. Thomas they, Sankara, all this. Thomas people. Sankara. Yeah, they will pick you out. But if you settle down like Ninas have done for over uh, 20 years, went under the table, planned together, formed alliance, built everything together, that is what is scaring them. Exactly. That alliance, for the first time, the indigenous peoples of Nigeria came together speaking one voice. That is what is scaring them, not the noise that you're making. Mm -mm. The noise you're making, they have antidote for that. For if that. You off, you'll be fine. They will wear the uniform you're wearing. Come in your midst, which is what we talk about our people in Southeast. If you open the door by killing people up and down, they will bring their people in, wear your clothes, and kill, help you to kill off your people. Exactly. There's no way you will control it and say, oh, stop, stop. I'm only killing this one. No. They will just kill you once. They will come in and help you. What they were looking up. What they were looking for, Sokoto. For so long. Is that you to find it in do you understand what we're saying, our people? And we are saying in this show today, we have showed you what the problem is. The next place now we're showing you the source of the problem. Where is the problem coming from? Who is creating this problem? We all know what the problems are. That's our CV. We can tell you this problem from now till thy kingdom come. We know it because that's what we are living today. Mm -hmm. But what we want you to think of today is who is creating this problem. There's a tap that somebody opened and we are busy mopping the water. Why can't we go to the tap and close the tap so that the water will stop pouring? <laughs> That's what we're saying. Britain, France, all the superpowers came together in 1884-85 and said this is what we want the africa difference. is too blessed mm -hmm. africa mm -hmm. is full of resources and we need it we need it like vultures they need it they sat down on the table and shared africa this is what you're still seeing till today 
And anytime one person raises voice to do anything to save Africans, they will kill you off. Uh -huh. You can see what we're showing now. This is British worship. We know some of you have not seen it. You see it in movies. This is real now. It's in the land of Lagos. The Southwest Block, part of Ninas. Because we know Ninas is Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self-Determination. So a section of it, the Southwest, Lagos, for those that do not know the geography of Nigeria, those that are watching us for the first time, this is worship from Britain. You see, have a picture of when they captured girls, when terrorists, Boko Haram, captured girls, cutting people's head. We've been shouting. They did not bring worship. Mm -mm. They did not come to help us. Mm -mm. But now that they see that we are coming together, the alliance is coming together, they want to protect their investment. <laughs> and I can tell you stories. Please. Mm. Those of you that like listening to these stories, can you stop? Because we know our people have sense. They can think critically. They might not have the Queen's English that Sister Augusta was referring, Sister Mona was referring to. When you have finished schooling in Britain and London and uh, USA and everywhere, you come back with your Queen's English. When we are telling you the problem that is in the ground, you are looking up and speaking big English. Speaking through your nose. Yes. <laughs> Please. Try and understand us when we say these people are number one enemy. Please, hmm. we are hmm. begging you. We are begging you in the name of God. Do not take us for foolish people. We are not foolish. We might not be speaking English the way you speak it, but we are not stupid. Britain is number one enemy. Of Top Nigeria. notch. Mm -hmm. I don't care what they have given to you. They store everything for us to give it to you. Exactly. You should recognize that we are paying for whatever Britain gave to you. The blood that we are shedding today, the things that we are losing today, you benefited from it. You must recognize it. So please, when we tell you that Britain is number one enemy to the progress of our people, we want you to understand it. And please, if you're not even intelligent enough to understand it, shut the hell up, then. Quiet. No, no. Keep quiet for now. Keep, keep quiet. quiet for now, please. Mm -hmm. Just keep quiet for now. We have work to do. Until our people are free, we don't want to hear Queen's English. That no, is not interested. Not at all. Please, please. Not at all. Please go ahead and play so that my people will see what is ahead of them. When we are telling you that you need strategy, not noise, look at what is ahead of you. Look at the preparation they're making for you. Indeed, especially. You see this ship that is looking like an entire house. In fact, it's looking like an entire community. It's an entire country, we're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody can be inside this ship and live for one year. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And nothing will happen. Uh -huh. They are prepared. They are prepared. And what are us. they doing in Lagos? If any, what are they looking for? What do you say? What are they doing? They, they said now, they said what well, they said they're coming to train personnel. They're personnel for, for what? For <laughs> what? For their enterprise now to come. The, the British enterprise. For the Niger, Niger, Niger uh, company that they had in 1880, whatever, 1980. Yeah, because they are trying to take it away from them. For the first time, which is why we are telling our people, for the first time, we have done something that we have taken Britain. Because what they did not, you know what they used? Okay. This is the entire Nigeria over the weekend. And today... So we'll touch this area, see what the worship look like. And I'm with the face here. So we don't see how you go there and wait there inside that way, carry. Okay. They are the owners of the land are here. They are here with your worship. The owners of the properties. And now we will go much enter inside the ship. If you look where you see gone everywhere on top of. Mm. 
see that one, one of the guns. So. I know. Where for sniper, oh, my brother is a sniper. I have said he carried enough assault <laughs> rifles inside. All those ones say they're watching sign moving and then we will see here. So mm -hmm. you I see, you see our funny people. You see how this man is reporting this thing, eh? Yeah, all of you where they see him for movie, they see him live for now for so. He doesn't even know what's coming for him. He thinks he's reporting. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> anyway, sister, do we need to play the whole thing or should we post it on? No, no. But, I mean, they've seen the sheep already. I they will go on our line. Now, my dear, you can post it. They should go online and look at it. You see all the branches. You can even go for tourism. Yeah. <laughs> Travel to Lagos and go for tourism. <laughs> the worship is here. <laughs> go inside <laughs> and have fun. <laughs> They're coming for, yeah, extravaganza. Hmm. The Who's owners of the land are here to let us know they are they are around. They they've, have, they've arrived. Yeah, they have come to uh, assess their properties and see. Uh -huh. it's something like there are some pictures. I don't know if you saw that Amod pictures that I sent to you. Yes. You can yes. show them. They, have, they brought also 60 uh, Amod cars, tankers, you know. And Boko Haram has been killing I, I thought that one was from uh, the Amor Kart. That was from China. Yeah, it. China, now that's why I say, where is creating the problem? France, Britain, China, China, all of them, they're the same now. It's all different now. As they're coming from here, they're coming from here, they're coming here. They, they are coming together. Why are they coming? To steal the resources of Africa, to kill off Africans and take their resources. But they don't know what they're waiting for. There's something hmm. else. There's something else this time around. Yeah, because yeah, they yeah, to yeah. make warriors the head of. They I are warriors the head of. Their descend, their descendants are here. Are here. And the we are not only in last land. for thirty something years, so yes. they should bring it on. But well, we are not only in our land; we have scattered everywhere. Everywhere. We live in the US. We live in London. We live with you. So as you are preparing to bomb our people, to go and bomb our people, we are in your land. Yes, as you are mm. bringing him in, Boko mm. Haram mm. was, was, was dealing with people. For over how many years you did not bring worship? You did not bring a more tankers. Now, because you can see the indigenous peoples are coming up together to free themselves. Self-determination is human rights. We don't need to beg you for it. It is our land. We are indigenous to the land. We don't need your English to be free from mm. your shackles. Oh, you you right that in. Do you understand? You have something that's coming for you. What you don't know is you don't know what is coming for you. Because this is the time that we have read of in the Bible. That time that I have read that the kingdom of God is coming from heaven on earth. This is it. We are here to bring that kingdom of God. Hmm. And all you children of Lucifer, you have something that's coming for you. If you want, gather all the ammunition. There. Yep. We are already living in you. What I was sharing with my sister, say our ecumenic warriors, when you people face them, they fought so hard for years, for that something years. When they saw that you people are going to exterminate all of them, they changed strategy. In all the strategy they changed, they decided to export their children to your land to go and learn the white man's ways. <laughs> and that's why usually they don't send the first son. Mm, they will yes, send the second the children. Because mm -hmm. the first sons are supposed to be the custodians yeah, of the no, Exactly. He told that the first batch that was sent got there and started following white women and forgot why they were sent. And growing up, our, our, our parents used to tell us folklore, you know, stories of how people were captured. Then the people sent another batch, sent another batch, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. last mm -hmm. batch was sent. Mm -hmm. And when the last batch sent, he defeated the enemy and started... Uh, resuscitating those that went before them and brought them back, except the very first one that they say in Oromiri more. That means like they drank the water of death. Those mm -hmm. ones could not be resuscitated anymore. They had to abandon them there. So we know that some of you, where you are married to old women, yeah, you, you, you are, we might not be able to resuscitate you. Hey, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, we are here to take those that have not drank the death water. And we are here to restore the land. And you know what? We're not going to use the white man's ammunition. We will use what our forefathers gave us. Wisdom and critical thinking. Yep. We have it, we are and we with. have it in abundance. We have it in abundance. Yep. So we are here to restore our land. 
and we are not seeking for permission. We are just informing you. And then we are calling on those that support truth because we're going to work on truth. Truth will help us in what we're doing. Because if you keep lying to yourself, you will not help us. If you're a professor, you keep lying to yourself. When you tell you there's a problem, you're not seeing the problem, you want to speak English. You are lying to yourself and we will not work with you. We want to work with those that admire truth. We appreciate our women that are back home gathering themselves, saying they want to work with truth. We pray for our brothers also, our men, please begin to seek truth. Because with truth, we will overcome the enemies. All of them. All of them. Listen to our sister review another truth. Because these things are not hidden. It's only those that want to lie to themselves. African leaders haven't done anything about this deplorable situation. Well, let me tell you, my brother and sister, they have tried. Documented to this day, 22 coups where leaders were assassinated. France has something to do with it. The first seven. I this thing. When they decided they were pulling out of the CFA and that they were going to print their own money, they were assassinated. Of course. Every time an African leader has tried to do what's best for their country, they were assassinated. Majority of them painted by France. It's a little fact. And then others, they were just mesmerists who felt that when there was a natural resource discovered in one country, they wanted to create a coup. So while the country is thrown into a civil war, they're siphoning the natural resource. We know of one particular story that had we not known about it, it would have been, oh, there we go again, the Africans, in uh, about 25 years ago. A group of young, rich, white kids were having fun in Cape Town. They found out that there was oil in Equatorial Guinea that just been discovered and they wanted it. So they set out a plan to have a coup in Equatorial Guinea. So while the Guineans are busy fighting a civil war, they will be suffering the oil. But they made one mistake. There were two planes. One was to leave South Africa, stop in Zimbabwe, pick up more ammunition on their way to hunt in Equatorial Guinea. Another plane was taking off in the Caribbean that had this puppet diaspora who was supposed to be the next president. Mugabe wondered why such young people needed such powerful ammunition to go hunt in Equatorial Guinea. In doing his research further, he found out that this was a coup in the making. He allowed them to land in Zimbabwe. They loaded their plane, and just before takeoff, they were all arrested. The ringleader of that group was none other than the son of the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Margaret Thatcher. She had to fly to Zimbabwe and paid handsomely to get her son out. The last one of those prisoners left Zimbabwe about six, seven years ago. Had these young people succeeded, it would have been another coup. There you go, the Africans again. Such, my brothers and sisters, is the story of your Africa. They don't do coups anymore. They simply create instability. So when you hear of an instability in an African country, ask yourself, what is really going on? Because what they are telling you is really going on. It's just a shiny object. The real issue is of here. And you need to stand before you start being used as an instrument of your own self-destruction. All right. Uh, Sister, but, <laughs> like what this uh, Dr. Rekana said right now, it, it is so interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Why did I say that? She was talking about the coup that was supposed to have happened in Zambia and how Magratacha's son was one of those that went. You know, these people, they have a way of doing things. They will say they are going to Africa to oh. put animals. Yes. You know, this, uh, trying to find out all these extinct animals, mm. animals mm. that have probably, mm. their lineage has gone. And they said they are going to shoot film. Oh, they, 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 want, there is anything. they come in different they lie, they lie through their tongues. Oh my goodness. They can never say that, oh, they want to go and do some, um, what is it called, medical... Medical stuff, yeah, stuff. The, yeah, like you see, a uh, big wife carrying, carrying water, water. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. on the head. 
So they go with that we, 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 because she was explaining how how did they go with such heavy ammunition and the what they they said they want to go hunting. Yes. You know they have this uh, the attitude of going to go and poach animals. Yeah, they're going to hunt Africans now. Hunt Africans exactly. So now and that brings me to the fact that she also said she also said that any African leader that wants to help his people they always pick them out and it has always been happening recently. We have the likes of Kigame. Kigame is the president of uh, Rwanda. Rwanda. Mm -hmm. Yes. And this guy, in all honesty, I don't really know the details, but the little that I've seen, this guy has actually cleaned up Rwanda. I'm heard that Rwanda is one of those, you, you, would, you would not even know that you're in a third world country when you go there. Things have been smoothened. He has, you know, cleaned up his uh, environment. And we have some people probably held as prisoners trying to pull him down. Because you always use your own people to pull you down. Yeah. Always. That is the strategy. Yep. Use your own person to pull you down. And lately, in the last two years, this guy has been granted interview. Each time he goes for this interview, they would ask him about the human rights, um, whatever, whatever in his country. That mm. okay, fine, he's cleaning up Rwanda, mm. but his human right record is 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 rubbish. And who's keeping the record? And, uh, no, look, look at his answer now. That's why I said I like that guy. Yeah. He told them that, oh, if your human rights, if, if you are complaining about my human rights, what happens to Black Lives Matter? What happens to Black being killed for nothing? Okay. What happens to police being, you know, they will see a, 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 a Black guy, like recently, a policeman shot a, an unharmed Black man 76 times. And you are wondering, why 76 times? You can just shoot him in the leg and, you know, arrest him, but you shot him 76 times. How angry can you be to shoot someone 76 times? So he was always using that to tell them that, hey, you are talking about my human rights record. What about your human rights record? So that guy, he is actually trying to remove himself from, you know, from people seeing him too often. Because when they see you too often, they will pick you out. And I'm hoping he maintains that, that strategy of his. He maintains it and helps his people out of where they are right now. And that's why we're telling our people that all Africans must come together now to work on freedom and self-determination. Like what we're doing in Nigeria. Others will be seeing what we're doing and they too will be working on their own. Because if it's just Rwanda, they will take out the Rwanda president and that will be the end. And we say, oh, that was a country that was cleaning up. Now he died. But if we are working together, trying to say, okay, look at this issue. These are the so-called apostles of freedom and democracy. Meanwhile, they are going around sponsoring and masterminding mm. genocides. Doing business with China. Doing business, exactly. Setting up dictatorship and terrorist government here and there. Creating instability and wars. Where is the democracy that they are preaching? They're going to be asking them. And we're telling some of these are people that have not with them. Ask them this same question so that they can back out of Africa. I was saying, I say, some of these are people that speak spray, 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 that you grew up in Britain, you grew up in America and everything. Ask them questions. Tell them to remove their filthy hands from our land. We, we, that's where your, your connection will really help us a lot. Because they have become like your brothers and your sisters. They don't understand you more. They won't understand some of us. When we speak, they say, huh? Huh? If I say water, they'll say, huh? Because they want me to say water. I, it, I can't. Because I'm an African. So since you're already speaking like them, please, can you talk to them? And, and tell them to leave us the hell alone. Yeah. Alone. We want to build our land. They want the wealth of the indigenous people. And for the longest time, they've called our wealth a common wealth. Exactly. My father's land and say that what belongs to my me is now common to all of us. Mm. Common wealth, you are so right. Of which Nigeria is a member. Why will the wealth in my land become a common wealth? Common wealth. Your own is your own. Your own is your own. Then my own becomes our own. That's what the Fulanis are doing now. That's the same thing they thought. They're they, they, they from keep their gold. And then take the oil in, in the bias that belongs to Jigawa. Exactly. So mm. they, they are learning from them. And which is why sometimes I tell my people, I say, look at this Fulanese. Look at this Fulanese and learn something from what they're doing. 
They have associated so much with the white man. They started learning from the white man how to conquer their own black brothers and sisters that are supposed to be black and sister. But they're not because they have made themselves different. They are not our brothers and sisters. If you go and imbibe and learn the culture of the white man, meanwhile, you're not learning his English. You're not learning his academic training. You're not learning his religion. ways of killing your fellow human being and conquering them. So much that you conquered Hausa land. And you finish conquering Hausa, you want to conquer Middle Belt and then conquer Igbo land, conquer Yoruba land. And you think we will allow you. You want to kill and force all of us to leave the land. Because when you make the land so hot, everybody will run out of the land. Mm -hmm. Some people say, oh, everybody wants to leave Nigeria now. Everybody, what is your people's problem? Okay, you want to leave the Nigeria and leave your mother, your grandmother, and your old mother for them to come and kill. Is it making sense? Rather strategize on how to stand and say, who is creating this problem? Let's face them. Everything is not about war. Everything is about, it's not about carrying guns and shooting. It's about strategies. But let us understand where the problem is coming from. Let's understand what the problem is. Understand where the problem is coming from and then we know how to tackle it intelligently. That's what the daughters of truth, that's what we're saying. This is what we're telling our people. Your blood is always hot. Hey, where, 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 I want to shoot, I want to shoot. Who are you shooting? If you have formed a majority and your enemy becomes a minority, why do you want to shoot? <laughs> why would you just go and engulf that your enemy and send your enemy out of the land? Why we want to bring war to your land and open the land for the enemy to come in and kill your old ones and women and children? Is that a strategy? I'll leave you to continue, sisters. My dear, we cannot say this enough. Those who have ears, let them hear. And then if you want it the other way, like we said, we are raising women all over our land, daughters of truth. Women that will tell the truth about what's going on in our land. Because Micah C said, the, the Lord said he will heal our land, but we must start with truth and honesty. So we have embarked on that journey of truth and honesty everywhere in our land. And once that goes viral, let them bring their warship. Let them bring their nuclear weapon. They will fight themselves under that ocean that they're sitting on. You see? That's where they will find themselves. So we are doing our part. We are not shaking. We are not shaking at all. We are not sitting in our pants and taking, oh, thinking, oh, you know, you can see them for a movie now, but it's not here live. <laughs> <laughs> We know what you're doing, man. The guy hasn't said it before. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the let them bring hundred warships. Mm. They should bring it on. That's just my own opinion. Let them bring it on. The owners of the land have decided that this must stop, and it has to stop. So let them bring it on. No, so you know they, they, they'll be dealing with African men. Mm -hmm. That go and say, "That's okay. Let me drink coffee and come out from here." No. Our children are dying. You don't get to do what you used to do anymore. No. You're not under our watch. No. Things have changed. Watch. Things have changed. This video now, because what we're showing some of this, we for you to know that our people, our men know the truth. They have always known the truth. So why didn't they have the courage to do the right thing? Why would they wear tie, wear suit, and sit down and speak about truth, something that you know that is coming? Why are you not preferring solution that would stop the evil that you have observed? You people were there, they brought Buhari as their agent. Hmm. It was so obvious. When they were sponsoring Buhari, it was obvious he was going to be their killer machine. And he came in to do it. And you're seeing it. What is your response? Sitting down and speaking English. My dear, they went to Oxford now. They went, they went to Cambridge. They had to practice what they have learned. After all, who knows how much thousands that they use. Yeah, they yeah. have to practice. I forgot. So it is what it is. But we don't want your English language anymore. Just pack it, pack it inside your nyash. We are done with it. See, some of our elites don't understand the seriousness of the current slow motion war. Which I will tell you, President Buhari, is part and parcel part of it. 
That's why since he doesn't act, that means he approves of the ongoing slow motion war by his people. How would you not call a man who terrorizes the country a terrorist? Why wouldn't you call him? He terrorizes the country. He kidnaps school children. He kidnaps soldiers. The leader of the Zala sect said his people will still acquire an anti-aircraft gun. And the other day, the Wall Street Journal said they did acquire Nigerian army did pay money to them to retrieve the anti-aircraft gun. President Buhari meanwhile will do nothing, just deceitful returns. That sees him in contradiction of law for ethnic considerations. Now that the rule of law has been thrown to the dogs. Why are we doing this? And that's why I do agree with the governors who met in Lagos, in Enugu, and Asaba, and said, for the sake of the country, nobody from the North should be allowed as president because none of them can stop the current foreign insurgency. I stand on that, and that's why I speak in regards to national strategic security needs. Mm. Oh, you both should not joke. There is a war on. Nigerians should wake up right now. If Nigerians are killed, the Newman, Batamas are killed, they are Nigerians. If thieves are killed, forcing Governor Autumn to cry, those are Nigerians. If Pirams are killed, and today you have some seven villages in IDP camp, those are Nigerians who should care. If Adaras and Baggies are killed in Kaduna, we should care. If Hausas are killed in Maru, in Anka, in Tangobe, in Esedau, in Malele, yeah, this is how they go. If you give him money now, he will start telling you he's not killing anymore, that they are dancing. Hmm? Once he gets his own, you know, Christmas is around the corner. They have to give uh, engine oil to their villagers and give them probably uh, Chinese rice. So once they get their money, there are no more strategies. They will become a political uh, partners of uh, the same Buhari. They will even join them and Buhari will work on them and they will be on the same channel TV talking something else. That's well, what they'll become funny. Kaya did the, the chameleon <laughs> more than a chameleon. That's who we have as leaders. They are political strategists, they see evil happening in our land. They won't come out, you know, until their money level goes low, and then they will come out and start shouting so they can get their own share. The likes of uh, what is that ugly man that has a uh, hmm? the label? Uh, uh, um, ah. Yes. What I yeah. They will come out and make noise, then they will get their own It's not Gige. Which one? The Edo guy, correct? My dear, you have to know that there's only one ugly guy that there's actually two of them. About some the other guy. There are the two ugly ones. Yes. <laughs> they look like something that you see in Disney World movies. What is his name? So oh, oh, is it Tinubu you're talking about? My dear, that's the brother not... of that one. God has been giving us all this while about these people. Yeah, my you're dear. supposed to know them by their names. I know, right? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. sure, Baba. Uh -huh. When they collect their money, they will start singing. They will go and marry the most beautiful girl in the whole other continent and give them some of our money. From Tunisia or whatever. Yeah. And the guy has disappeared. The guy has disappeared. Chop your money. 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 The guy didn't know whether she should be for Shomola or for Rocha Sokoracha. There was, oh, Lord have mercy. My dad is who, who owns the money more. His money is speaking. <laughs> it's sad. But the mothers are here once again. They must get it right. No longer the days are gone that we sit around and be dancing in Maponya with computer, brain and her computer. You should let them. people that don't know how to write their name. We're giving them names to computer. Eh? That's your head. That's your head that you know they used to hear. We go knock them like your mother did, even though you had a who go stand on the stool, knock them, knock them, knock them, until you begin to reason very well. We are sick of it. We are sick of the same thing happening over and over again. Our children are dying. Our brothers are in Italy lamenting, knowing that the leaders are sending them up. They don't care if you die on your way to Italy. They will pick you up, send you there. If you see the kind of job 
when they find themselves in those tomato farms, how they she's to get it. If you see the kind of job they are cooking and eating in the farmland, all of that, worse than they ever, ever lived in their so called hometown, all in the name to get uh, uh, trans, trans, transmit some money. And then the people that you're sending money, all of a sudden, they don't want to do anything anymore. Everybody just waiting for that uh, uh, Western Union to give them a call so they can go and pick up the money. No, 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 no. That's not sustainable. Hmm? I brought a yeah. video say he imported a beautiful Ethiopian girl, okay, as his wife, yes. Mm -hmm. And they my it's all about our money. They took it and ran it. Who will live with that thing? Yeah, is that a human being? <laughs> <laughs> you will be having nightmares every day, my dear. Who will live with that thing? Are you guys kidding me? Please. And it's so sad, you know. So I, I, like we're saying, we are telling you where the problem is. We told you what the problem is, which you already know. You said the source of the problem. The source of problem in Western world, but they are using people in our land mm -hmm. to make it not happen in our land. Mm -hmm. This uh, video we're going to show you again because we told you that they come and kill off the leaders that want to act right in Africa. They kill them off and put their own agents. And it's the same mission, killing Every the people, time. stealing their resources. It's about resource control. Now, as part of what they do, those leaders that they have, people like Buhari, they will need agents, the foot soldiers that they will use, the proper terrorists that they will use. Now, if you go and arrest those terrorists, they will release them from, there will be prison break and they will release them. Because they've already promised them that whatever they're doing, they will never be caught. So that's why you don't see them trying anybody in court. You have people, my brothers, that like it speaking English. Why have they not tried them? Why have they not tried? No single flanny has been tried. Yes. <laughs> Who is going to try, try single flanny? Since the queen. Is the agents that will be used. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hear them speaking in this. I said, is it that the more English you speak, the more your brain goes out with it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Please start speaking English. Don't speak English again. Or speak broken English. Because this English, I think there's a cost on it. Is that yes, the so. more people will speak. It's a language of criminals. Yes. He said, no single Fulani has been tried as we speak. Who, is it your father that wants to try Fulani? <laughs> Fulani came to do work. You are waiting them to try them. Wake up, my people. Understand the strategy on the table. We are saying there's a strategy that is superior to what the white man has been doing. For the first time, we came up with a superior strategy. And that is scaring them. That black people that they thought were just monkeys could sit down and actually think, rather make noise. Because what they have been doing is that they will set off like, to make noise and they will start fighting ourselves, killing mm -hmm. ourselves. Because mm -hmm. the strategy is divide and conquer. They will divide you and your communities. If you don't divide enough, they will go and get an agent that say he's bringing freedom for you. That agent is not bringing freedom. It's coming to divide you even more. So you divide and fight. My dear IPOB people, <laughs> IPOB that are fighting themselves. They say, it's you that set up our master. This I say, no, it's me that set up our master. It's you that set up our master. Who set up our master? <laughs> Who set up the master? Have you asked if the master set up himself? This one said, it's you. This one said, it's you. This one said, it's not me. Oh. This one said, I will get a lawyer, a white man lawyer, to find out who set up the lawyer. <laughs> then after you say, no, no, that white man is not even a lawyer. He's a globalist. Hey, no, me, me, me. I will not even get that lawyer. There's no way it's me that will get that lawyer. I will not get up the lawyer. <laughs> nah, these, are, these, are, these are very lazy uh, women back in. I, don't, I, don't, I, I doubt if they live in the US because... You know, honestly, if you live in the U.S., you are really, really busy. So I don't know where they got all that time to be able to talk and talk and talk nonsense all day. They are paying them. Well, they're busy. They are getting money. Our people are contributing money for them now. They are sharing it among themselves. Yeah, honestly, it's so. <laughs> it's not honestly, really so. But one thing they have failed to realize is that their, their, their supreme leader actually kidnapped himself. It's part of the entire gist. You know, but they, they, they don't want to understand that, Father. It's part of the playbook. You've got to understand it. 
It's, it's difficult for them to understand. You know, in between the madness of their screen leader, he throws in truth. Yes. They, they don't know. They don't grab that truth. They don't grab that truth. That it's throwing throwing in. Which is why we're telling our people is a moment of lucidness, moment of truth. You have to begin to see clearly. You need to see clear so that you don't fight who is not fighting you. And then the person that is fighting you, you embrace him and say, you are my brother. Please. Please. That's what they want. That's what the agents, you know, that's their ultimate goal. To yeah, the master, the, the main master, you know, the Britain that is setting everybody up. That they, they, they send all these people in your midst to promise you freedom and there's no strategy. <laughs> what is the strategy for this freedom that we've been talking and lamenting about? Sit down now. What is the deliverables? This is how I name it. What will he yield us? What will he give us? As the, okay, you go to court, you come out, you shout, then what will now happen? What is the process? Even though you've been a lawyer that invited, told them is the constitution. He told them you have to go through a process. Exactly. He told them this. They, they are not here, you know. The only Yubo lawyer say he's incapacitated because it's not his jurisprudence or whatever they call it. How they speak that uh, uh, They are still not listening, you know. It's not his area. He's not. He, he cannot perform in that area. He can only just be writing letter to ICC and writing letter and be writing letter, slowing. The essence is that they want to slow you people down. Why the enemy comes into our land to take our land. So they throw in all these yep. things for the law. It's slow. Look at yourself. Where you were 2015, that's where you are back. Now you they slowed you for two, two years. And you know that experiment. At the time, you start telling them, you see, it, it, because he promised that he was going to give them freedom in three years. So after a while, he started telling them, you see, I, I, I've not even done three years because I spent two years in prison and I spent the other year uh, running away and I spent the other way under the bed of uh, one woman I found and then now we are left. I've not even spent three years that I told you people. Even after I said eight years old, you know, them, no, it's not even three years yet. Every date, he's giving you date, I'll give you freedom. It's a delay, it's a delay tactics. Why they are delaying you chasing wild goose, you know, like chasing what does not exist. Choi. They are coming into your land. They are encroaching and their worship is right their there. Mm -hmm. And their worship is coming in. It's just to finish up. You, what is your own plan? What is your own strategy? Chasing the white goose. Ichuri Abago, Ichuri Abada, that is caught. Tomorrow is in the more like up, down, up, down, pendulum. You're swinging left, right? These are all delayed tactics. Do you have the video, please? Yes. On the 16th of March, 2021, an Iagoku magistrate court in Ibado ordered the remand of suspected kidnapper Iskin Wakili and his two sons in the Abolongo Correctional Facility in Oyo State. Iskin Wakili had since been in the news alleged by residents of Ibarapa region of Oyo State to be responsible for series of attacks, kidnappings, and killings in the area. The Chief Magistrate Emmanuel Idowu ordered that he be remanded in Abolongo Correctional Facility as he was charged with conspiracy, murder, kidnapping, and armed robbery. What Nigerians believed all along was that Iskin Wakili was at the Abolongo Correctional Facility. On the 22nd of October, the unexpected happened at the medium facility where Iskini Wakili was expected and supposedly held. Immediately, the news of the jailbreak filtered out. Questions started popping. Where is Iskini Wakili? <laughs> Journalists kept asking questions. Nonsense. And the leadership of the Nigerian Correctional Service seemed to be evading the questions. And eventually, they provided an answer that left so many in the dark. In this custodial center, we don't have any high profile image. <laughs> the only person we have is that person who has uh, a case with EFCC. And for your information, he still with us here. 
You didn't go to anywhere. It's in a vacuum. He is not here. Sunday should be He is not here. When asked to shed light and expand on the almost unclear information provided concerning the status of Iskilu Wakili, the spokesperson of the service in Oyo State, Mr. Larry Anjori, said the public should believe whatever the federal government has told them concerning the matter. According to what the minister, uh, Dr. Benjamin and the Consular General, through the DCG at the AM Tuko, said yesterday, that does not actually work. What they said is, um, Joaquin, um, and the other person are not being cancellated in um, on your Australia center. That's what they were saying yesterday. Okay. Thank you. So, but according to the news we had, um, sometimes in March, it was to be reminded in Abolongo Australia center. So, what happened? Well, um, generally, one um, other part of our duty uh, is. Um, that when anybody is incarcerated because we have, um, we, we, we need the full view of our job to do transfers uh, or, or to change. And so definitely, uh, you know, uh, if somebody has incarcerated in a particular place, um, it doesn't mean that that person um, will be um, kept in that particular place. Story okay, thing. Can you tell us? Where exactly what killing is? Well, um, I don't have that information with me. Story, story, story. Oh, Are you guys kidding me? Ajan Bennett's story. Can you imagine? And human beings are sitting down listening to things like this. Mm. And it's not resonating to them what is going on. The other day, Shegumi came out and said, it threatened the whole country that if you ever call bandit terrorists, that they will bring in more terrorists to take over the whole country. Amen. Go so for that it. Nigeria will not break. But like, this is what we want now. Bring in the terrorists now so that Nigeria will break. What is he waiting for? My brothers and sisters are sleeping. They are sleeping. Maybe when the place is over flooded with terrorists, they will wake up because they need bazooka to wake them up. Mm -hmm. Those have been denying and lying. Oh, they're not terrorists, they're bandits. You see, I can see the yam I used to buy one naira. It's now 200,000 naira. Still, I can't see what is going on. I can't link what is going on with anything. I can't see the domino effect. I can't see that when they kill off all the farmers in Middle Belt, the basket food of Nigeria, that everybody will be hungry. Southwest, southeast, south, south, northeast, everybody will be hungry. And the more hungry you are, the more you kill your neighbors, the more you, you smoke methamphetamine. That's one. That's one that is raining now. They're all drinking and smoking and sniffing methamphetamine. And everybody's getting crazy. They're wondering in southeast why their boys are now killing their mothers and their father. They'll say, I will cut them in half. As you're saying, they will cut them in half. Who is doing it? Who is importing her drugs? Hmm. Hmm. You go to the north, their own is codeine and uh, uh, tramadol and everything. Drugs everywhere. It's like what is happening in the black American community here. Yep. Can't you people see the strategy is the same? Yep. It's the same. But you'll be fighting your brothers and sisters and killing their heads and not understanding who is causing this trouble. We <laughs> say the Westerners, they will have the leaders that they will put, their stooges. And the stooges will elect the local people, the headers, the Fulani headsmen, those people that cut people already. They always cut meat. So why not give them knife and for, uh, 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 AK-47 to continue the work they're doing? Somebody is sponsoring all these things. And then we're saying, Whew. they want to release, like when you not catch them, they will release him from prison. This thing is not hidden at all. But we are saying, what is making all these things possible? What is that singular tool 
that they are using. 1999 Constitution of Nigeria. That fraudulent paper that you did not make. And they say you made it. They imposed it on you. They say that you swore to stay united even when you're dying. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a marriage that is unhealthy. And you're saying, I want to leave. Your brothers and sisters are saying, ah, you swore to be there. Still, because they're making money from your husband. Meanwhile, you did not swear, just that they imposed the marriage on you. You knew that you didn't want to marry that man. Your mother begged you. Your brothers begged you. Your younger ones begged you. Say, nene, nene, marry him now. You know, if you marry him, I'll be able to go to school. If you marry him, this is our house that you're licking. They will, yeah. they will, they will, you will fix it for us. Nene, bikonu, bikonu. They literally imposed that man on you. Now you give birth to one, give birth to two, give birth to three, give birth to four, give birth to five. You are dying. Hey, you can see your life ebb away. You can see that you're dying. You begin to call your brothers and sisters. I'm dying. Your parents, I'm dying. Your father said, no, hold on. No, that man promised to give me chieftaincy title in the village. Hold on. <laughs> Better wait. Don't you dare move from there. You want to come out from there? Your mother will say, August 19, August, uh, August meeting is coming. He promised me seven rappers. And you want to come out? You want to come out? You are very wicked. They will turn around and start calling you wicked one. Meanwhile, you are a victim of their evilness. It's terrible. You are a victim of their greed. You are a victim of their... What do I call it? Rather than repent and say, sister, we are sorry. We didn't know it would be this bad. So what do you want now? They are not doing that. Oh. They will wait for you to die so that they will put obituary. Yes. Our there is days in advance. Rest in peace in advance. <laughs> yes. In loving, in loving memory of our dear sister, mother and, and daughter. And wife. And wife. Our beloved wife. Because Omona will come with their own. If you leave our brother now, his house will scatter. Please now, don't leave our brother. Wickedness. Please, don't leave our brother. And this one, you say, this man beats me all the time. Pana beats me. I'm not a human being anymore. He said, nene, ne, dibun didi. <laughs> Marriage is precious. Your mother will say, Do you even know the one that your father did to me? And I endured it. I will. Mm. They are not understanding the trauma that you're going through, that you're running mental. This is what is happening to us. This picture is just the picture of the indigenous peoples. Our politicians are wooing us. No, one Nigeria, one Nigeria. I said, We are dying. Hmm. But can you see that we are dying? Our children are trekking through the Mediterranean, through the desert, and swimming through the Mediterranean Sea. Can't you see the hunger in the land? Can't you see the evil omen called one Nigeria? What is doing to us? He said, "No, hold on. I want to be Ibo presidency. Just wait. Well, just wait for 2023. If I just become Ibo presidency, just wait. Just wait." And you're begging, Ohaneze. They're begging full and knees. Illiterate full and knees. Please allow us to be Igbo president so that we help you fix Nigeria. Try. Have you asked yourself whether they want to fix Nigeria? Ndiara. Ndiara and Yohaneze. Have you asked yourself if full and knees want to fix Nigeria? No. You've not asked. You're selling us, selling the women. All the women have become prostitutes in the land. A boki that is selling food. Onions. 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 Onions, I heard. It's now Onions. mounting the daughters of the land. Hey, that before, hey. before, before you hear an Igbo woman being married by a non Igbo, it's so hard because they can't even stand their intelligence. They run away from them. Now, we are not just being married by Alahaji, Wosa, uh, this one by Yoruba, Osa, I don't even mind Yoruba, but Fulanese and all that. Now, onion sellers are giving birth in our land. <laughs> Fear sellers are the one 
sleeping with our women, their daughters, and because it's about changing the demography. So they're changing the demography by all means. And our men are watching and speaking English and saying yeah. that politicians. Mm -hmm. How many times will we beg you? We have begged you, politicians. Shut down 2023 election. It's useless to us. It's not meaningful to us. There are, there's this put on the land. I don't know if you're ready with the next. Yes. Video. yes. There's this put in the land. Listen to Tony Nadi. He, we've been saying it. There are many videos where we've been saying these things. What the problem is, the source of the problem, and then the solution. It's a whole package. It's there. Listen again. You don't want to hear. This was an event in Lagos. These are Yorubas inviting him to come and speak to them. Are you surprised that the Yoruba uh, self-determination pro pro project is moving forward? They know what they need. The Yorubas know what they need. They know who to talk to them. They will set up any meeting and bring him to come and talk. This one, they call it Fela because they know if they give it another heading that Fulani soldiers will attack them. So they give it a black title and bring him to come and talk to their people. They are organizing and moving forward. My people are running up and down like Indian Indian who had drugs. Go ahead, please, Sister Molly. And by him is the role of imperialism in the affairs of our country. And don't deceive yourself that those who are parading themselves as Rulers of Nigeria in Abuja are the people in charge of our country. The IMF and the World Bank today are giving the budget of Nigeria before it is read to all of us. And we have just been told that 16 trillion Naira budget will be presented by the government. Six trillion, the government is going to be to take loans to fund the budget, to pay salaries, and to enjoy themselves. But we have just sent a letter. I belong to an organization, the People's Alternative Political Movement. We just sent a letter last Friday to the Attorney General of the country. You guys based on the judgment of the Supreme Court, on the judgment of the Supreme Court, the federal government wrote to six oil companies, we call them international oil companies, IOCs, to the fact that for 18 years, you did. Being different requires great confidence. And with awards like the IIHS. Wow. Um, I don't even know how to... Um, okay, starting all over again. To this matter of, cru of crucial national import. Yes, and to help Paralos along, discussions jump. is um, someone who needs no introduction. Okay. And ask then you give up a hand, please, to Mr. Femi Falano, SEN, as he takes his position. <laughs> no, I, th I think something happened though. I know, did it change? No, mm. welcome. No, it's not him. Yeah, it's not. I know. Let me. I don't know what. Let me stop sharing. Uh, but this year's program is taking place. We are to participate. I do not know yet how many. Okay. Sorry, guys. Let me start all over. I don't know what I heard after that ad and night show. Yeah, the ad. They must bring their ad. <laughs> they, are, they have to make money <laughs> they have to make money they, they care whether we are dying or not it's not their business it's 
we that are dying that should it should be our business that we are dying because that's called self-defense in the study self-preservation self-preservation is the first human instinct we, we should care that we are dying we should care and that's when we have to begin to do what we need to do do the needful because nobody will save us nobody will deliver us nobody's going to give you freedom we are going to take the freedom by ourselves, but we don't want to be stupid about it. We want to follow strategies. We want to do things that others have done and it worked for them. And we thank God for what Nilas is doing, what Ellen is doing, because while we were busy running up and down, they were busy working underground. Somebody is saying, oh, let's do this underground. What is going on underground? What we do here on Saturday is to tell you some of the things that we need to tell you. The main work is underground. It's not on top of the table. When you're ready, I'll keep quiet. Okay. Yes. You may have seen Fela, you may have heard about Fela. I happen to have uh, interacted with those who interacted with Fumilayo Ransom Kuti, Chief Anthony Enoro. The stories he told me about what Fumilayo led other women to do will uh, almost diminish what Fala did to that of a gentleman trying to, you know, Fumilaya will take action before she tells you what the quarrel is. Ask the Alaki of a Baland in those days. There's another associate of mine and of the project, Professor Wole Shuinka. When we came to the point of being finally conquered by those who are holding us down, he took Wale Shuinka plunging into the middle to bring us to where we had a consensus to plan again on what to do to bring ourselves out of bondage. Pronaco. After the Pronaco, he became one of the plaintiffs that went with us to court in 2007. We finished Pronaco in 2005. Shuinka was one of my 10 plaintiffs who went to court to say we did not make the constitution of Nigeria. And that suit that began almost innocuously is now has grown teeth. It will take down that monster that we've been dis discussing and describing from our various uh, points of suffering, whether you were being killed in the middle belt, or you were crying for your resources in Nigeria, or you were Yoruba being uh, chased into IDB camps in the uh, Benin Republic, or you were in the East being uh, slaughtered like a uh, chicken. All of us are being exterminated by this one monster. And that monster is something that has legitimized itself by way of the constitution we have to obey. Was imposed by that monster that monster is now the owner of our lands, our sovereignty, our assets. That monster is the sole custodian of all the guns in the land, whether you went to the army or police or the DSS, wherever. That monster is the one that signs off on all the things that control economic uh, assets. So Dangote can be given half of legal spot to do whatever he has to do. He can be assigned a... Uh, oil to refine and sell to us oh my gosh oh, okay. unfortunately i have to allow this to run in order for it to continue to play the limestone of benue can be assigned to him to use free of charge to make cement and sell to us so there's something fundamentally wrong and so when we begin to look at the kind of title we have here evolution or devolution. Uh, the previous speakers have done some justice in making a distinction. But let me create a common ground upon which we build what we have to do now. Because what I came to share with us is what we can do now to end this trauma. If we listen and do it, I tell you, by the close of this quarter, by the time people are heading up for Christmas, that enemy will be, will be on his knees because we went out in the last 22 years to work out how to dismantle 
this uh, instrument, the constitution by which that uh, monster has legitimized itself in our spaces in the name of a Nigeria that died in 1967. And so, whether you talk about evolution or devolution, let us rule out devolution. Because devolution means you are taken from where it is to give to the you know, constituent units. That is reverse logic. It, in a federation, a federation is a union of constitutions. In a federation, it is the constituent units that donate the powers that go to the center. So if anybody is thinking in terms of what the center will do to give to creating states, creating geopolitical zone, that person uh, doesn't uh, understand what we're discussing. Then for evolution, yes, the revolution we talk about, which is really the solution to the problem, is only taken from the perspective of evolution. Revolution is only about the degree of change and the speed of that change. So, if instead of taking 1,000 years, you decide to take one year, it is a revolution that you could move away from something that took so long to build. You could reduce it to one week. You could reduce it to one hour, where you now go straight to the palace, behave a few people, and take charge, and become the sovereign. And so, what we have to do is of a revolutionary nature, but there's a process that will manage all of what could go wrong, which was why we dropped a plan that took uh, so long. Technical, uh, please bring uh, the battle script of 1960 so that we can see where this monster is coming from. If we understand where it's coming from, and what is done to bring us to this enslavement that go to everything. We can't generate electricity for ourselves, not that we don't have the capacity. Somebody who doesn't want electricity for us wrote it down that we cannot generate electricity. It's called exclusive list. No, the, the one in red. Good. That is what we are dealing with. That is what has become the constitution that we have to obey that the people who were handed over this territory by their joint venture partner Britain in 1960 were telling their left that the territory, which includes Yoruba land, Ijo land, Igbo land, Thief land, Berum land, must be an estate of their great-grandfather Udam on that On no account should there be a change of power that they will use the minorities of the others, the middle belt as we have it today, as willing tools. The Gowans of this world, the Dagmas of this world, the, the, the Husseinis of this world, Jeremiah. And that the South will then be a conquered territory. Never allow them rule over us. Never allow them control over their own future. Hmm. If you bring the map of Nigeria and you can technical bring the, the alliance map, who can see, you know, in, in perspective how that instruction has been uh, executed. No, the other map. Good. You see the territory in yellow. That's the 12 contiguous states that, that impose Sharia. And the, the territory in white is the balance of Nigeria, the south and the middle belt. That instruction you saw there was the basis of all of what was done to impose this constitution that tie our hands to the back and seize our sovereignties. Like doctors who do, you go from diagnosis to prescription to treatment. If you, if you miss the diagnosis, some say, oh, it's leadership. Let's go get better people to come to lead us. No matter who you bring to govern Nigeria now or manage Nigeria with this constitution, that person will fail because it's like from my state capital to the other capital because it's federal asset. I cannot defend myself, organize my own security. I have the capacity to, but I'm, I'm being 
prevented by those who imposed the instrument. There are 68 such items. I can't even elect who will govern me because there's an INEC in Abuja, in a federation. <laughs> Imagine the day that people from Tennessee or some corner of uh, California who have to come to New York to organize who all right so i'm gonna stop these people trying to make money off of we'll post this video in its entirety on our facebook page but you can see what our brother is saying every time we come up here we provide solutions to the issues that we have at hand it's all about people that they even understand them because whenever you see how can only learn our walk be like this be listening if i'm like this i'll be leaning forward so we have the solution on the table all we need is for our people to understand the work that has been done, key into the work that has been done. If not, if not, the alternative is very, <laughs> I don't even have words to describe what the alternative is. So the alternative, you cannot deal with it. It's better that we rise up now, gather around our brother, get in sync with the strategy on the table so that we can remove ourselves from this hell called Nigeria, the foreign federation called Nigeria, if not, they will be flexing their muscles with their warships. They will be uh, doing INEC election in 2023. They will be doing all manner of stuff to keep us in that perpetual hell. Because as long as we are down, they continue to pay the benefits for their grandmothers. They continue to weigh 700 pounds when we can't even get our newborn child to get, gain weight. They will continue to overeat, overindulge. People are dying of hunger. They are worried about what they ordered from for Christmas. If it will be in front of their homes, you will see that the the weight is leaning on towards one sided, right? It's one sided weight. The favor is on their side while we are being slung up and we're there now. By shake shake a temple for God to come and help us. It's a no brainer. So the video will be in its entirety on our, our Facebook page. Uh, for us to watch. And we thank our Yoruba counterparts that are doing the job, the youth, the ones organizing this talk to understand they are not there cussing anybody out. As we are telling you, because of the brainwasher, people are saying, ah, and the map, take your map and go here, talking rubbish, this, this. So we do thank those youth that actually organized this thing and invited our brother Tony to enlighten everyone so that we can understand what we need to do to get out of this. And these are the kind of things that we are looking for. Whether you are in church, we showed you guys a pastor that was on it, breaking, tearing down that hell called 1999 Constitution. These are the more inf more things that we need to be done in our land, not the the one that will say uh, Constitution is the problem. I will never go to Buhari within 80 days. He's already in the Buhari mansion. And then he captured all of you guys in his church with their condition. I don't know what kind of church that is. A cathedral. Capture all of you every Sunday. He will be there with his big stomach preaching to you about Bible and doing business with the guy that kept you in hell. The guy that caused your rights to go from $2 to $20. The guy that is responsible, responsible part and parcel. You've heard it over and over again. Even the channel news is showing it now. And have you guys realized they're not saying, hey, this is not our uh, idea. This is not our destiny. Before uh, every time the heat is on now, everybody's feeling the pain. So, <laughs> so they are no longer saying that. No, no. Yes, they are bored and out. So if you allow yourself for the pregnant man to capture you on Sundays and Wednesdays and brainwash you while you're suffering, and he's getting his own cut, fueling his jet, his children are over here living large, my dear. It's on you. It's only on you. Nigeria is the only country you will see children. Parents will actually use their money and sew uniform. Tell their children to go and stand in water and be singing. Nigerian. Anthem. Singing Nigerian anthem. These adults are so irresponsible that they do not oh. move our children out of that water. They left them inside that water singing stupid one Nigerian anthem. This is how brainless. The, the teachers needed to be arrested because those that water. They need to be arrested. Yeah. All kinds of diseases, all kinds of jeez. Ah, those people that are close there should go and arrest those teachers as we speak. They should be arrested already. Because this is what we are saying. They should be arrested already. From headmaster to teachers, all of them should be all arrested. We can't be taking this is anymore. When people cannot use their brain, must they sing the national anthem? Must they stand in that dirty water? 
Was they saying that? The, what, what assembly are they doing? They, they, haven't they, even they, even started, my idea. they haven't even gotten their salary. People doing this thing. They have not gotten paid. They've not got paid. But does it mean that if they're not paying, you don't have common sense? How will you allow our children? I mean, if if you this is abuse. This is abuse. This is abuse. All kinds of defecation, all kinds of man, many, all kinds of shan, cuckoo, and all that. Why can't people oh, use their common sense to do stuff? How can when there's a challenge, sense? how can you live in this kind of environment and have common sense? Hey. Oh, you could see the behind behind the, this thing. Some guys have been ferried in a canoe. I know what. Oh, they have been ferried, though. Leno. Yeah, that's the one Nigeria for you. Where are they going to? Ah, chineke na mere me bere. So in here, that if if what if there's a snake or something? Huh? Is it just snake? Worms, worms, worms. We be inside here. Guinea, yeah, okay, so enough time to uh, penetrate their skin and uh, enter into their brain anywhere you can, can, can get to. Oh my god, what's useless? Are children, is that? These are human the adults give birth to these children. Now, if there's a problem, can't people come together and begin to solve their problem by themselves? Can they begin? Can they go behind somewhere and dig a hole and let this water run into it? Can they begin to do something? Why would this sit down and be waiting for government when there's no government? Hi, look at that that girl. She's looking at ah, Chineke. Hi. We're saying it's no more acceptable. That's what we're saying. For adults to be irresponsible. Because it's your irresponsibility that caused this trouble. Nigeria did not get bad today. It took years and processes. But our nonchalant attitude, our irresponsibility, as adult, adult human beings, male and female. Because if you blame the male, you know that the males were also married to women. They had women as their sisters. They had women as their girlfriends. The women that we talked about, like people of Felakuti, the mother that our brother mentioned. Bratoni said that, uh, 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 what's her name? Mrs. Cutie. Fumilaya, that Fumilaya, she would have solved this. This is the problem. she starts speaking English. Speaking up. <laughs> no wonder this evil man threw her from upstairs. Threw her, threw her from a ministry building. And that's another brutal man. A no, woman that is speaking the truth. Man. You had the audacity, Obasanjo had the audacity to throw her up from up, down. And the Yoruba men watched Obasanjo do that. Yep. And today, Obasanjo is still walking up and is down. Is he walking on free is babao nobody nobody is asking you question mm -hmm. this thing that you did who made you pay for it and that's the thing about injustice when you allow injustice in one place it will spread everywhere you did it to one woman now you are doing it to all women because we kept quiet hmm. we kept quiet you did it to fumi lion threw her down upstairs down from upstairs the rest of the women kept that quiet if we came out as women when that thing happened do you think obasanja would have re repeated that of nonsense i know so we are taking responsibility all adults male and female we are taking responsibility for what we have allowed go on in our land and that's why we're here every saturday by the grace of God, trying to speak the truth to you. As we speak, meetings are going on, negotiations are going on. Bratoni just came back from one of the trips. Work is going on. What we do here, this is not where the work is. The work is on the ground for people that say, oh, do this, do that, that, that. You see, I don't know why people go to class and you have not attended lecture and you want to start giving suggestions. <laughs> and you want answer <laughs> and we're saying for the last time go to www.ninasvoice.org and learn what ninas has done for 20 years and where we are now there's timeline there there's template there there's timetable there everything is there and then sit your butt down and read the document of consumer first Major. exactly sit your butt down Read it. Read that document because all the answers are there. Lecture. 
Oh, if you God. not attend lecture, you miss the lecture. You want to suggest how the exam will be. <laughs> Why you didn't attend lecture? <laughs> go and go to that website. I know people will hate to read. Get your daughters. The children now, they will read. Because they don't have the difficulty that some of us have. Get your daughters. I say, my daughter, come and be reading this thing to me. Let me be listening. You're paying school fees. Mm -hmm. So if you're paying school fees, make use of the, the thing yeah. that your money is paying for. Call yeah. your sons. You're yeah. sending them to school. You say, my daughter, there's this important document. I can't read it. Our fathers used to do that. Right? Yes, they used to do yes, it. Now. Uh -huh. so call your children. Get them involved. Say, this document, please read it to me. They will read it to you so that you will begin to understand it. Then your questions and suggestions will make sense. Make sense. So please, individuals should join Nina's movement. We've told you time without number that Nina's is a movement. It's not an organization. Stop asking us, like some of our Yoruba brothers that think they're trying to help us. Please now join IPOB or team up with IPOB. Please stop that already. We heard some of you in the clubhouses that you're setting up. We appreciate you setting up the clubhouses, but some of you are very annoying. I listened to one, I was very frustrated. The insult that you're pushing on Stony Nadi should stop already. Doctors are true, say, all of you, Yoruba men, because it was Yoruba men I heard most of their voices. Trying to dumble what you don't have an idea. We were in IPOB. We will tell you about Nnamdekanu. We will tell you about IPOB. You know nothing about that vagabond. Please stop using that name to insult Tony Nadi. Tony Nadi is not your age mate. He is a trained lawyer. A jurist at that. If you live in the diaspora, go there and find out who a jurist is. Then you begin to have mouth to talk. That he's here surrendering his career and life, everything. Wealth and all this in for us doesn't mean he does not know what he's doing and what he wants. So let that insult stop. It is not individual fights and it's not popularity context. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about doing what is right and doing it the way it should be done. Individuals should join the move movement, not the movement joining individuals. Uh -huh. We've told you people that some people use the documents of this movement and want to make name for themselves and make okay. money for themselves. We have explained this thing without number for you. And they know it. That's why they don't have any strategy. And they keep exactly. going wrong. wrong. When they, they don't even know the next step. Yes. So. so they keep lying to you. And as a result, most of the time, they will submit, it themse they will submit themselves to be arrested because they don't have any plan. So they are actually running away from you people. Namkan is running away from you people. Exactly. He, he has no plan anymore. And that's why sometimes he tells you people, I don't want to lead. I just want to mobilize you people. But you people will not let him be. We've told you, leaving Namdekan alone, letting Namdekan leave you alone. It's like moving, meeting a woman that was starved with sex. And the next day she's following you like a cocaine, as if you are cocaine. <laughs> he has to run away from you. Namdekan is running away from you people. Because you people have enthroned him and made him a god that he's not. And instead he said he knows he's not a god. He knows he does not have your solution. He tried to work it up and make his own money, just like Judas Iscariot. Judas Iscariot came to make money. He was not following Jesus Christ. He came to make money, but the money choked him. That's what happened to Namdekan. He came to make money and made him wake you people as he's making his money. He has made his money. Leave him alone now. He said, Happen no maka. And he said, Happen no maka. He's begging you people. Hmm. Nandi Kanu is begging you people. You people should leave me alone. That's why each time he goes to submit himself to the enemy. Because his life is safer in there. <laughs> because if he comes out, he cannot deliver what he has promised. Promise. Over and over, over and over and over. Yes. That's why when the lawyers went and said, move him to Kuja prison, even the full line said, no, for his safety, let's leave him in DSS custody. Leave him now, the canoe alone, please. Think about your freedom. It's like Jesus Christ, when women were crying, say, women, don't cry for me. Cry about your own children and yourself. Now the canoe has made enough money to save himself and go to Bahamas 
and live there where you will not know. He has made enough money to change his face with plastic surgery and disappear. You will not even know where he is anymore. But the problem is you people following him. And he's Dra running away dragging from... dead wood along. Mm -hmm. Yes. He's running away from you people. Hapu no no maaka. Hapu maaka. Can you go and work for your freedom? And if people are very, if you are smart, you will know that even if you get this freedom, it will help the Nam the Kano to come out. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to hear what the problem is so that you know how to correct it. There's a well mapped out plan and strategy. It's not about individuals, it's not about Tony Nadi, it's not about this person, it's about you understanding as a people what you need to do so that you can have your self determination. Self-determination is your right. And you need to get it. But there is a process to get it. Mm -hmm. Some of our people, when we talk to them, they say, I don't want name. All I want is freedom. Let me get freedom first. Then we can talk about that. These are the people that are sensible. So we are not talking about, oh, is this or that? No. We are in a problem. We are trapped in this union of death. How do we come out of it? Fast, fast, because we need to come out fast. They are coming to kill us. They are coming to kill us. We are begging, please understand what the issues are so that you understand what the solution is. If you don't understand what the problem is, when we are telling you this is the solution, you will never understand it. Absolutely. Please, we are pleading to our people. Go to the website. If you don't have anything to study, read the Constitutional First Major document. It's in, in that website. It's in both um, the Lower Niger Congress.org mm -hmm. website and Nina's Voice website. It's not hidden. If you want, you can even text us. Those that have our number, we will send it to you directly. What that means is that when you read it, you will begin to understand what we're saying. And why we say this is a solution. So that you will start, you will leave what will not work alone. This is not like political party that we say, let's get 200 million people. So that we will win. No. It's about doing what needs to be done and doing it the way you need to do it. So if we have only 100 people, 200 people that are doing the right thing, it's better than 2 million idiots that are doing the wrong thing doing mm -hmm. the wrong thing and causing confusion everywhere mm -hmm. understand it so <laughs> please stop telling us about getting crowd a useless crowd is not needed mm -hmm. for this strategy we need people that are in that will understand critical thinking because when we get this nation we also need people with critical mind to build the nation because we need to yep. build it fast. Yes. We will not want to get the self-determination and lose it again. We have mm -hmm. suffered enough. 400 years is not a joke. Mm -hmm. Our people have suffered enough. We have a radio program that we are doing in Caribbean. You see, they want to hear. They want to understand what happened to Africans. Our brother and sister asked you a question. The brother was telling us that a lot of people want to come home and invest. Exactly. When, when they go to Ghana, story. When they go to uh, uh, Nigeria, story. Yeah, story. They don't understand it. It's confusing to them. So they say, come and talk to us so that we understand what it is. And that's what we're telling our people, if you're there wasting time, we will talk to these people and then we come back and take take what belongs to them. Because most yes. of them will offer that where They, they are from the land also. Of they are course. Of course. They are stolen from the land. So if they're the ones that we hear first, they will come in. And with DNA, they will know where they belong. Exactly. There's a meeting tomorrow. I don't know if we have it, please. A meeting for Lower Niger Congress. It's uh, to give you an update on the project, what has been done, what is remaining, because we're in the final phase of this self-determination. It's a Zoom meeting. You are invited because you are a stakeholder. It is your land we are speaking about. It is your father's land. It belongs to you, but you need to understand it so that you understand where we're going. You are invited. Come with your brain, please. Not leave your brain. <laughs> leave your brain at home. <laughs> and come to the meeting. Because you might be insulted. Of course. Why? Because we don't have time. We are dying. 
So please come, and when you come, please pay attention. Have a teachable mind. A mind that is ready to understand things. We beg you. Go ahead, sisters. Yeah, so the meeting tomorrow is for, you know, everybody to tune in, those of us from the Lower Niger area. And uh, when I say Lower Niger, those of us from the Southeast and part uh, and South South and some part of the Mid, 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 no, no, Midwest. So yeah, we Mid, are- The whole Midwest is actually Mid, part of South South. South South, South yes. All of us. All um, of us. Yeah, and others yeah. can also learn from what you're saying. Exactly, yes. Others can also learn. The meeting ID is there. The passcode is there. It will be posted on our pages. So everybody, just tune in. Tune in. As as Sister Equi rightly said, if you if you don't know what to say, just keep mute. But it will be best for you to go and read the Constitutional Force Major, so that when you come, you know what to ask. For those that are asking, why is it taking so long? Why hasn't you and you and is not doing anything? We've said that over and over. So. Go and read the constitutional first match. It's going to help you to um, ask questions that you really feel like you needed to ask. So anyways, we just think, um, I, I think we are rounding up right now. It's uh, over two hours. Uh, we thank our listeners. Okay, Sister Muna, we are? Yeah, so uh, let me just um, say my own bit. We thank our listeners uh, for today. And we appreciate, you know, we said you should share, share, share. There's a reason why we're saying share these messages because some people really really need to listen to these messages and it's going to help them we are on youtube we're on facebook we're on so many so many platforms so if you cannot get to the facebook you can get to the youtube and the other platforms so go ahead share this these messages and for our politicians we know initially we, we've told you all to close shop there is a reason if you have any questions you can also tune into tomorrow's um and um, tomorrow's program so that you can understand why you needed to close shop and be part of this struggle. So I think uh, that will be all from me to we'll see you next week. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, uh, people, for your time. We appreciate you. We appreciate you coming every Saturday to listen and to learn. It is really very important and critical. And then share the message, please. Explain to those that have questions so that they can understand. Thank you for the teamwork. We appreciate you. All right, thank you so much. We cannot do this without you. We keep emphasizing that we are all stakeholders. So act like one, you know, ask the correct questions. How is this being funded? Who are the ones running this? What role can I play? We emphasize on the three T's, the time, the talent, and the treasure. Which part are you donating to us? What part of those three T's are you able to give into this project? Remember, you're a stakeholder. This is not a fake freedom fighting register somewhere as a franchise. That's why you can be fired and hired at any point in time. This is a movement. So you'll be part of this great movement so we can get to our destination. I'm even tired. I don't want to be seeing people. As you can see, I'm not even looking at the camera when I talk. I can't, I don't, I'm forcing myself to do things that I don't normally do. So the earlier we can end this madness, and this defund federation union of dead called Nigeria, the sooner we can get home. Do not worry about the worship. Hmm? Our Jehovah Jireh has an answer for the worship. Those coming in here to, to threaten their properties and get more money, they will see what will happen. So no shaking. So my brother that thought it's a movie now, but it's not life and direct. So we are here. We are here. Hmm? We're here. Your mothers are here to make sure that nobody harms you. So we'll see you guys next week. Be safe. Uh, continue to share, share, share. We are here to do the right thing. Love you guys. Bye.